Daniel Kazinas here in this video I'm testing out my motorized surfboard so let's get the motor on there and get going. I should start it up first probably eh? <laughs> Check it goes. It goes. That eel's back. As you can see guys, got a bit of wildlife down here, this eel. Uh, luckily it scared me. There's two of them. Is there? He's just shown to his mate, they're underneath your surfboard. No, they're not big ones. It actually works really well. Yeah, it goes pretty good, eh? Yeah. The um, problem is the water is flicking off something here. Sucking in. And it's hitting the um, motor and it's sucking water in. Oh, you've got no air filter on it too. It's probably not helping. Yeah, true. Why didn't it work? <laughs> it's just um, like actual water going in. Why didn't it work the other time? So what did you change? Um, I, had it I didn't have these. And it was just tip it was super tippy. Oh, yeah. And the back sunk underwater when you took off. But that's helping it balance out. Yeah, it balances way better. I could put a more aggressive prop on it, should I try that? I've got one in the car. I'll try it. See if you can try and get a bit more speed up. Yeah, because once it's planing, I think it'll... It was starting to plane. Because it shouldn't... It probably won't splash up as much too, once it's planing. I'm going for the 9 inch. The big 9. Yeah. Oh look, the floats. This is probably why. It's bent from hitting the rock. I think so. And the more up the better, eh? Because it'll just split it instead of yeah, chopping into it.
I noticed too, once you got a bit of pace up, even with those pointing up, man, a lot of water splashes on that motor. Yeah. You wouldn't think so, eh? Like. But it's, I think it's actually hitting like by the alloy there and splashing back on the box section. Like it's going up, hitting yeah. that, and then splashing back forward. Uh, yeah. You've got to see it on the video. Once you yeah. get a bit of pace up, it's a lot of splash. Yeah. Considering, oh, the, considering there's like water there. dripping out your carby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonder it goes, eh? Yeah. Good old China's finest yeah. day. <laughs> Looks a bit deeper down there. Well guys, thanks for watching, that was just great. So big thanks to Christo for the filming with the good camera. He's See got his own uh, YouTube channel, it's called Phasey Luck. Um, this is his build, he's building here. Tell us a bit about that Christo. It's got a Toyota Bay Bridgeport in it. Um, definitely not one for the purists. The German car made to look like a NASCAR with a Japanese motor. It's just a cheap skid hack, to built it on a budget. You have to come to the track one day there and take it for a thrash. Yeah mate. Alright, uh, so check his channel out, I'll put a link to it in the description. Well guys that works surprisingly well but it can go a lot better it's probably only working at about 50% of what it could do it could go a lot faster I think uh, one idea Christo had is of putting a bit of flat bar up here so it deflects the water away from the motor a bit more but any advice from you guys would be appreciated put it in the comments I've also got to make the handle on the motor a bit higher so it's easier to reach thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one